Hi everyone, I'm Steve Hill, CEO of New Hydrogen. Today we're getting into the latest hydrogen news, including hydrogen river barges, the hunt for white hydrogen, more bad news for hydrogen refueling stations, Metallica goes green and more, so let's get into it. First up, we head to the waterways of Europe, where an innovative project is making waves in inland shipping. New Atlas reports that the Holland Shipyard Group, in collaboration with Future Proof Shipping and the EU's flagship H2020 project, is leading the charge in converting cargo vessels to run on green hydrogen. This recent introduction of the H2 Barge 2, powered by six 200 kilowatt fuel cells, marks a significant step towards zero emission transport on the Rhine River. This initiative not only reduces CO2 emissions, but also sets a precedent for the broader adoption of hydrogen-powered vessels aligning with Europe's push for sustainable transportation solutions. From the waters of Europe to the highways of California, the journey towards a hydrogen-powered future is crowded with both progress and setbacks. The promising news is that well-funded projects like Bill Gates and Amazon-backed Coloma's effort to drill for white hydrogen deposits shows continued momentum. But sadly, Shell closed its hydrogen refueling stations in the state, likely due to lagging demand driven by a high cost of hydrogen. This underscores the need for cheap green hydrogen to drive adoption. New Hydrogen aims to meet this need by developing Thermoloop to produce the world's cheapest green hydrogen. Jump over to newhydrogen.com to learn more about that. Next up, what does classic metal band Metallica have to do with hydrogen? The group has joined forces with Baker Hughes to incorporate greener energy solutions into their European tour. They plan to use hydrogen-powered trucks to transport their equipment, showing a solid commitment to reduce their carbon footprint and to support sustainable practices in the entertainment industry. This partnership is a great example of the diverse applications of hydrogen technology beyond traditional sectors, emphasizing its potential to drive meaningful change in unexpected ways. Finally, our last news item for the day, Honeywell Technology and Enios of Japan made waves by partnering to establish the world's first commercial scale liquid organic hydrogen carrier project. This paves the way for efficient, sustainable hydrogen transportation and storage. The train has already left the station and hydrogen is redefining our approach to clean energy across multiple industries. While hurdles remain, collective efforts propel us toward a future powered by green hydrogen. From transportation and entertainment to energy infrastructure, the possibilities seem limitless. And of course, there'll always be challenges, but the collective efforts of innovators, investors, and policymakers will continue to propel us toward a future powered by green hydrogen. That's it for this week's news. At New Hydrogen, our goal is to develop technology to produce the world's cheapest green hydrogen. We think it's time to kill the hydrogen electrolyzer, which has been around without much change since 1890. If you want to know how we plan to replace it, visit us at newhydrogen.com. And if you like this update, please like, share, and subscribe for more hydrogen news. Thanks for watching and see you next time. <music>